I just can't believe Fallout 4. It just spoiled for me something that's crazy to spoil. Like, I'm going to try and do this without spoiling anything, but... Right, this is going to be spoiler-free, okay. I accidentally learned months ago, shortly after the game came out, that a particular character in the game is a synth, right? And you're not supposed to know that. But I, I was checking their Wikipedia page, and I found out, and I was like, Ah, oh, why did I fucking read their Wikipedia page? Now it's spoiled. So I thought, yeah, that's fine, you know, I... I imagine when you get to a certain point in the game, it reveals that this person is a synth, and you're like, oh, what a surprise. But I was just doing this quest. Um, this person that you're not supposed to know is a synth is one of the companions. That's as much as I'll say about that. So I'm doing this quest where you're with... Still trying to avoid... Spoilers of a different kind. I'm working with someone, and I've got to go and retrieve someone, right? And this this person I'm retrieving is a synth. So I go there, and I've been there recently, so there's no enemies there. So I'm going up and going up. And then I get through this loading screen, and this guy I'm with is like, Hey, by the way, you know, this synth we're after... You don't need to kill him. You can just say, shut down protocol, bullshit, code, here we go. And it'll shut him down. And I'm like, cool. Doesn't matter. Because I'm I'm aligned with the Brotherhood with this character. So I'm like, doesn't you could give me the shutdown codes all day, mate. I'm, I'm going to kill it. So then I go through, through this loading screen. And I'm like... I knew the guy was going to be there, because I've been through this place before. And I was like, right, yeah, this guy's here, okay. And he's like, hey, you know, what do you think you're doing here? And I'm all like, I'm going to kill the fuck out of you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into VATS with my, my level 59 character. And I'm just going to go into VATS with my assault rifle and just queue up a load of attacks and then hit X and then square for a uh, critical hit. So I do that. And the first hit I do is a critical hit, and it takes his health down to half, right? But then, before I can allow my second shot, his health goes back up to full. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I realize that this guy that's with me on this mission, not my companion, but this guy that's with me on this mission, he said the code, right? And it shut down this synth. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression I was giving a, a choice to make. You know, kill it, don't kill it. Your choice. No. You try and kill it. They're like, nah, you're not going to kill that guy. We're going to fucking save him. And I'm like, what are you doing? I don't work for the Institute. I work for the Brotherhood. Why is why are you refusing me the ability to kill this thing, right? But then, that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is my companion start saying something, I can't hear him, because the guy I'm, the other guy I'm with is, is saying the code, but then it says, this person admires you, this person hated that, and I'm like, what does this mean, when it says this person admires you, that means I must have done something they like, but now it says this person hates you, and I'm, and then I'm like, okay, I'll just ignore that, that's fine, but then, my companion goes, Oh, I feel like things have changed between us. Maybe we should talk about this. So I'm like, okay, I'll talk, right? So I start speaking to my companion, and he goes, I'm going to do this with no spoilers, as I mentioned. This companion goes, I'm surprised you did that knowing that I'm a synth, right? And at this point in the story, it has not been revealed, even not even hinted at. That this person is a synth, right? The only reason I knew it was a synth was because I accidentally read the Wikipedia page that told me months ago that this person was a synth. I still haven't... This is my main character. I've got, like, loads of other characters. And across all my characters, not once have I seen even a hint 
of this person being a synth, let alone any hint that could lead to a big reveal, because I imagine it would be a big reveal. They're like, oh, by the way, I'm a synth. Or more likely, oh, by the, oh, fuck, I didn't know I was a, I'm a fucking synth. That's what I was expecting. But this person just goes, oh, by the way, you know, because I don't fucking know. I tried to kill a synth. Some person set a code which which kept the synth alive, but put it into shutdown mode. And then my companion's like, oh, by the way, you know, I'm surprised you did that, considering you know I'm a synth. And I'm like, you didn't tell me you're a synth. I know you are because of the spoiler I gave myself, but that's not the point. This is... I've always imagined this is meant to be a huge reveal, especially considering that I haven't, in all my characters, I haven't seen any instance, any hint that this person is a synth. And then, and then the game just goes, oh, I'm just going to skip, like, I don't know, half my story, and just go, oh, by the way, I'm a synth. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, that is... It's far from game-breaking, but it's wildly immersion-breaking, and it's... I'm just surprised that it happened. I mean, I know, like, yeah, it's a Bethesda game, they're always buggy, but there's no excuse. I mean, it's 20... Like, there's always going to be games with bugs, right? But if you're going to spend f five or six years making a game... I know with a game like this... See, it, it's tricky, because games like this give you the ability to, to generally go wherever you want, do whatever you want, whenever you want. That's generally the rule. That must wildly complicate all the behind-the-scenes computations that have to happen. Like, when you speak to someone, the game has to look back at everything you've done and gone, okay, so what did you say to this person then? And then this person then? But that's ridiculous. It's like, I'm just playing the game, and he goes, oh, well, you know, I'm surprised you did that since you know I'm a synth. That's a shock to me. I mean, it's not a shock to me, because I already knew it, but... Could you imagine if I didn't already know that? If I hadn't already accidentally spoiled it myself months ago? Could you imagine someone playing this and they're like, Fucking what? Like, thanks for the reveal of any kind. I just thought that was ridiculous, you know, with... It's just... I'm... I'm so conflicted with Fallout 4 yet. No one near as, confl as conflicted as I was with Destiny. But with, with Full of Four, I'm conflicted because it is a very good game, but fuck, it has some just huge flaws everywhere. Like, I would recommend Fallout 4 to anyone that has, like, a PS4, Xbox One, or PC. It's a great game. But when you've played Oblivion and Skyrim and Fallout 3, and you see those games as not quite perfection, I mean, Skyrim perfection, but... You know, Oblivion and Fallout 3, you, you could see improvements that could be made. But this is the first game I've played from Bethesda that, that disappoints me. I've never been disappointed by a Bethesda game. And this is where the confliction comes in, because it's a very good game. Like, just put the controller in someone's hands, tell them to play. Great game, good fun. But fuck, I have some big issues with the game. And the bugs are, are one of those issues. I mean... When the game came out, people were like, oh, it's buggy. And then loads of people said, oh, well, you know, it's a Bethesda game. They're always buggy. You know, so what did you expect? And half of me goes, yeah, you're right. I mean, Bethesda games tend to be pretty buggy. What did you expect? But then another half of me tends to think, like, you look at Bethesda. You think about how much money they and reputation they built up from Fallout 3 and Oblivion and Skyrim and obviously Morrowind before that. You think, how can a company be this big and release a game that's so riddled with bugs? And riddled is the right word. It is just bugs all the fucking time, right? Because not only was there this bug of this person going, oh, by the way, I'm a synth. Whoops. There was this other bug that I've seen before where your companion just sort of gets stuck in this pose. They got their arms up in the air and they're talking to you like normal and they're sliding along the floor, not walking sliding along the floor in this pose with their arms up and I'm like that doesn't make the game look really cheap and shit much you know and I saw that with Kate who I had as my companion a while ago and now this person I was with started doing it and I'm like what the fuck so I go through this loading screen after seeing him do this whole hands in the air bullshit 
And then, then this character goes, oh, by the way, I'm a, well, no, he, he, he doesn't even go, by the way, I'm a synth. He goes, well, as you already know, I'm a synth, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? This is just crazy bullshit. Crazy bullshit. It's 2016. Games should be better than this. Like, they just released a patch for this game, an update, which, which changed a lot of stuff. But they didn't, they obviously, maybe they're not aware of the fact that this character goes, oh, by the way, spoilers, unnecessary. I just find it ridiculous. It's, it, it, it's Bethesda. They made Skyrim, my personal favorite game of all time. I don't think Skyrim was perfect, but it's my favorite game of all time. And then their next game after Skyrim is this. And wow, like such, it's not just like harmless gripes I have with it like <clears throat> this bug with the spoiler yeah whatever that that's fairly harmless compared to what could happen it's still pretty shocking because people don't like spoilers but what worries me is the other things I don't that I was disappointed with with Fallout 4 like for example the amount of filler radiant quests that are available it's like okay you can speak to this person and they'll be like oh go and clear this place and I'll give you a little bit of caps a little bit of experience then you speak to them again, and they're like, oh, go clear up. Go do the ex literally the exact same thing, just in a slightly different place. That's not a quest. That's busy work. That's go and fucking do this. That's like Thieves Guild in Skyrim, busy work. They're like, steal this, steal that, steal this, steal that. But there's no story behind it. It's just walk to somewhere, don't be seen, grab something, leave. Oh, wow, fun. And this game is full of that shit. Every faction you go to has at least... At least two just pointless busy work quests and they're not even fun so I'm like oh okay so so quarter mastery or cleaning uh, 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 cleansing the Commonwealth you know I do those once no point doing them again because it's the same fucking thing just somewhere else so yeah I I have problems with this game and um, I mean it's a very good game this is as I mentioned the confliction it's a very good game but fuck, it should have just been so much better and simply been so much better. Stop filling it with all this pointless... They're not even quests. It's just busy work. That's the best word I can come up for it. And it worries me a little bit for The Elder Scrolls Six because that'll be the next game. And I always thought when Skyrim came out, I was like, oh, Skyrim is fucking amazing. Like, it just improved over Oblivion in pretty much every respect. It's fucking amazing. And then they made, I thought they're going to make Fallout 4 and it's going to be amazing. And then after that, Elder Scrolls 6. And now Fallout 4 came out. And yeah, it's great. It's not amazing. And this is probably the first Bethesda game I've played since I've been loving Bethesda games that wasn't amazing. And now I'm thinking, oh, please don't let Elder Scrolls 6 be filled with fucking pointless quests. Like, oh, like you speak to a Khajiit and they're like, oh, I hid a soul gem in a bush. Go find it. And then they'll send you somewhere and there'll be like a soul gem and you find it. And you, then you go back to them and they'll be like, oh, here is some coin and here's some experience, I guess. Um, I've got plenty more random, storyless, contextless, entertainmentless soul gem hunts to go on in the future. You know, it's just... Fuck's sake.